I think everyone should consider going to the gym. Now, here's why. Before you say, why do you think everyone should consider going to the gym? Because it is a potential life-changing thing. Now, what I really do love about the gym is personally that you go and walk into the gym and you personalize yourself like a character in Ark or in like Fallout. You get to pretty much get stronger, feel better physically, mentally. It has a phenomenal change. And ever since I went and decided to go to the gym, it has changed. My physique has improved more. My mental health has been on a best. It has been in a very, very long time. And I honestly think people that do not go to the gym are kind of missing out on certain things. Now, I'm quite aware of the fact that, you know, not everybody likes going to the gym. Fair point. You really don't have to or need to. You know, no one is forcing you to go to the gym. I'm not saying you're required to go to the gym. I'm just saying you should consider going to the gym. The biggest reason why people go to the gym, and obviously the most expected answer is, they want to look good. You know, you want to get that summer body in, cool, but you got to work for it. Now, what is super duper important with working out and maintaining muscle and growing your muscles is that you have a good diet. Now, me personally, I've said it before, what I like to eat every day for the protein takes is chicken, is protein shakes, is protein powder. I use creatine myself. It definitely works. That's definitely something if you're like a skinny person, for instance, take creatine. Anywhere from 5 to 10 grams a day. I have been taking 5 grams of creatine for many, many months. I'm not going over the limit because I'm not on that weight that I need 10 grams of creatine. Now, you go into the gym, right? And the one thing that is super duper important to know is that you're not really just going to get judged quickly. There are some people in some gyms that will judge you based on your physique. But in general, you're there for yourself. And that is something you need to understand as well. Going to the gym means you got to be consistent. Inconsistency will not get you far. And that is definitely something that I didn't understand many, many months ago. I thought by just lifting weights, you know, I would get big and strong. However, my diet wasn't correct. I wasn't taking in enough protein a day. And unfortunately, the truth is doing just home exercises is not going to get you very far it is also very demotivating because you're alone most of the time unless you've got some form of partner or, or friend that can come over to your house you can come over to their house no that's a total different thing but what's so unique and so great about the gym is they've got everything that you need for every every muscle your legs your ass your shoulder your biceps your triceps Anything that you can imagine, the gym is there to offer it for you. Now, look, I don't know what price your gym starts up to, but mine is about 40 a month. At the age of 23, I will get charged 60 euro a month, which I think is not cheap. I mean, that's about three months subscription at Basic Fit. I have never personally been to Basic Fit, but I have heard quite a lot of negative things about basic fit but all right every gym is different now my gym is very unique i find personally i definitely think it's a one of its own because of the fact you actually get to have a bond with the owners believe it or not two people own it but the first owner is pretty much there like almost every single day and he's helped me out a lot and he's definitely motivated me more into saying basically listen you've got a decent physique however what you now need to do is Get more calories in, get more fats, get more protein, get more carbs. And then if you go to the gym consistent enough, you're going to see growth. Now, here's where a lot of people, including myself, didn't understand something and don't understand. You're not going to see any form of muscle growth or any form of physical change appearance at the first three to four weeks. You know, unfortunately, the truth is social media has everyone wrapped in a bubble because Unfortunately, what is up with social media nowadays is people set up unrealistic goals and unrealistic standards, just like beauty standards. You got to love your body and you have to treat it like you want to. Now, me personally, I don't look up to anyone and think, oh, yeah, I want to be just like them. I am me. I am myself. You've got to set up a realistic goal. Now, training everything, you pretty much want to train everything as much as you can possible. You don't ever want to skip leg days. That is something that I see unfortunately happen way too often at my gym that I go to. And it's like a, it's a thing in the gym community in general. Leg days, eh, you know, people don't like it. I think it's a shit excuse not to do your legs. If you're going to train your biceps, triceps, shoulders and back, 
why not do your legs, your ass, and everything around it, right? It makes no sense. But the reason why people skip it is because they're lazy. I've also been told that people don't do leg day because it's the most difficult form of muscle group to grow. Yes, that is very true. Doing legs is hard. You won't really see a growth that very quickly, but everything takes time. You need to be patient. You need to feed your body the proper amount of foods and diverse your diet as well. You know, eating the same shit every day, you don't need to eat chicken and broccoli every day. You can have a burger once in a while. As long as it's within as long as it's within your calories, your fat percentage, your carbs and everything, then you're good to go. I have a burger once in a while. That doesn't mean that I eat it every single day. Obviously not because, you know, I mean, a burger is high in fats, high in protein, high in healthy fats, not to forget to mention. And it's got carbs because, you know, when you make a burger, you're going to put it on a nice delicious bun. Now, what carbohydrates do eventually and essentially is they give you energy. Now, it's very important to know that you need to also burn the calories that you consume in the gym. Now, me personally, I love to do cardio. Before I do any of my physical exercises, I like to do the cardio. Now, the reason why I do cardio, you may ask, is just to warm up the muscles, pretty much. That is the biggest reason why I do the cardio, but also to get the cardio running and starting. You see, I play football three times a week, and even though I'm a goalkeeper, I find it still very important to be healthy, to know that, okay, when I need to run, I don't want to be tired within like two seconds of running. It's very, very important to know. The biggest reason why I go to the gym is because I want to look good. And I'd be lying if I told you, oh no, I don't go to the gym because I want to look good. The truth is, all of us go to the gym to look good. And it's also to extend our life. You know, a lot of people don't understand when they don't work out and this and that and they eat shit the entire day is your life depends on what you consume. Your body is reacting the way it's reacting because of what you take in. If you would really take a deep, close inspection on what you eat every day, there's a reason why you maybe feel tired, maybe feel sick. And that's why going to the gym and adjusting your diet is a very important thing. You're not going to gain any muscles by eating shit every day. You want to eat clean as much as possible. Since being on the diet that I'm on, I mean, look, I've always had a real nice skin, this and that. I've never had any form of breakouts. I never had no acne, nothing. But one thing I have noticed since switching over from the dye that I had many months ago to the one that my PT advised to me, I've been feeling more energized. I feel the gains as well. And I go anywhere from an hour to two hours in the gym three times a week. Now, why not every day, you may ask? A very good question. My brother used to be a bodybuilder as well around my age, and he used to work out every single day. Now, bear in mind, my brother is taller, was bigger than me, and was more muscled. He was able to do it every day. Me, you know, I'm not the biggest guy. I'm very aware I'm not the you know most muscled. I, I guess you can say I got a sleeper build, right? Some people say, oh, bro, you got a sleeper build. You got a pretty good body. But I do not work out every day. And the reason why injuries, muscle recovery, the growth of muscle... I asked my PT, you know, some people advise me that I should train every day. Would you advise? He said, no, I wouldn't advise because I used to do that exactly at your age where I wanted to go into the gym every single day. And you're going to notice you're not going to get any gains because you're not letting your muscles recover enough. So that's why I find it important to take rest for 48 hours and then do my exercise again. Now, obviously, there, there are some of these days that I simply do not want to train. But then I look at myself and I'm like, dude, you want to either take it very serious or not. And that is the biggest thing about working out is discipline. All the other things are just key factors into, you know, working out. But the biggest, biggest thing is with going to the gym is if you really want to go for it, you have to consider taking it serious every single time that you go. Now, there's a guy in my gym. I mentioned it, right? Skinny people have difficulties with gaining muscle. Genetics play a big, big role as well. I don't want you to forget that. Some people will take longer to gain muscles. And the truth, frankly, is some people may not gain muscles. That is a serious thing as well. Some people just seriously cannot gain, even if they've done everything they could. But just want to let you know, you must never give up. And there's a guy in my gym, very, very skinny dude. He's very good at what he's doing. He's not physically strong at all. But hey, we start somewhere. Oh, I'm not bashing him. I'm just saying, I think it's a good job what he's doing. He, in a few months' time, can get a good physique if he has a good diet and works out every time but me personally i i don't enjoy working out every single day i've i did it for a while 
but uh, my body was starting to hurt more. I wasn't really feeling well. And I've also switched up my times with working out. I was before working out in the morning, but every time I work out, I feel sick, I feel dizzy. Now I work out at like three, four in the afternoon. I feel way better because I've started my day up before. I've done everything I was able to do. So you gotta you gotta find what you enjoy doing and what suits you the best. Now, if, you, if you've got an office job, that still doesn't mean you're not able to go to the gym. I don't want to, any of you say, oh, but you know, I don't have time. That is not correct. You prioritize something above your health. And I've always said that your health is the most important. How you treat your body is how it's going to treat you back. If you treat your body correct and with love, it is going to treat you with love and correction back. So I hope I was able to maybe motivate you into going to the gym. If you've never gone gone to the gym, definitely start looking into it for mental reasons, for physical appearances, and also another very big thing, you get to be around people. That social aspect, because we're humans, right? We need to speak to someone once in a while. It is very awesome, and you're going to meet awesome people. I can guarantee you, I, I've spoken to a few people in the gym, awesome. Like, the gym is a very specific type of thing. Like, people are dope there in general, you know, you're going to have some people, obviously, once in a while, that aren't as friendly. All right, cool. But at the end of the day, you're there for yourself. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.